Hey, Chad, it's great <laughs> having you here today. We're very impressed by the work that Google is doing with everything around you, especially around BigQuery. And we wanted to kind of like ask you first, you know, like how has been the adoption, and you know, what is uh, what is the reasoning behind this investment by Google on on Geospatial? Well, first off, thanks for having us out. Um, the event you put on here is really impressive, and the energy in the room is just—it's really fun to be a part of it. Um, but to answer your question. The, the investment that we're making in geospatial analysis inside of BigQuery is basically we want to bring like very big data infrastructure to geospatial analyses. Like folks have been constrained by the hardware that they've been able to use and by the software that they've been able to use and like putting BigQuery and GIS together into the same thing basically takes the brakes off. And, and folks are noticing it, right? The, the adoption that we've seen, like the number of new projects, the number of new bytes processed every month, like has been climbing very gratifyingly. Well, this is great. I think, you know, like BigQuery represents an incredible, you know, like milestone in kinds of like architectures for spatial data infrastructures. We are like impressed by the performance in terms of scalability, but also things like the public data kind of like partnership that we are like publishing in the sense of like having geospatial data already built in. We think it's fantastic. So uh, I mean, that's you know like yeah. I think it's a key part of the no, project. No, I totally agree. We we when we were designing the public data sets program, and for those who don't know, there are a whole bunch of data sets inside of BigQuery that Google hosts because they're just useful or they're interesting. But we did a bunch of research and found out which ones folks were using the most with their own data and we found out it was kind of all the boring ones like administrative tasks and like things that folks just like a table that they need for reference and so when we learned that we doubled down on that so administrative boundaries you know zip code polygons and the stuff that we're doing with you it's just like all of that all of that data that's tough to find or annoying to put together into one shape Yep. Like now it's just going to be there to use your expression, right? Like the batteries are included in this gift. It's just ready to run. Big time. And this is, you know, why we are so excited with Data Observatory to have actually kind of collaborated with you. We think it's an incredible platform. It's going to change the way that people access location data. And we cannot wait, you know, to see this evolving and getting more users. Yeah, like folks aren't going to have to spend 80% of their time getting their data in. They're just going to sit down and be like, oh, I can get to work now. That's yeah, right. we're very, very excited to see what people do. So let us know. <laughs> Thank you very much, Seth. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thank you.